Hello, I'm Walter Berger, an application engineer at Walter Machines. In this tutorial I would like to explain a little bit how you can use our Tool Studio plugin Sketcher. With Sketcher you can create quick and simple a CAD drawing direct out of a predefined ident number. After loading an IDN with activated simulation, I start the sketcher. On the left and right side of the empty drawing sheet, there are the buttons to add some new figures. 2D figures, profile of two, cross view, 3D view and so on. Here you find some export functions. Here are the dimensionings functions some other functions and two drawing functions for radii and lines. On the left side are the parameter window. Each figure has its own register card. If you click off one of the tabs, the figure will marked with a green border. First I add a temple tablet that I had created before. With right mouse click I mark the cell and with right mouse click I open the context menu and select set text. I insert the desired information and do the same with some other cells. The first figure what I like to insert is a 2D drawing of the whole tool. The figure will be insert on the button on the left side. A new register card is shown with the tab named Tool 1. Here I set the scale to 2. With right mouse click and moving the mouse, I position the drawing into the middle. To show a general functionality, I add a simple split line. You can see the blue circles, we call them positioning points. This functionality is the same for all figures. By clicking the left mouse button and moving the point, I can change the position. Now I click on the figure again. This shown the green border and I can move the figure to the desired position with the right mouse button is pressed. As next, I insert the second tool figure, but I change the view type from side to front. Then I connect this front view figure with the side view figure by using lock with another figure. The distance between the figures I insert in the parameter window. The next is a cross section figure that I connect to the side view figure by using cross section annotation. By using the position points, I move the cross section to the right position. I change the scale to 5 and then I move the figure. Now I like to add a detail close-up figure. I mark the side view figure and click the button Detail close-up. With left mouse click and moving the mouse, I can make the circles bigger and smaller. Then I add an isometric 3D view of the tool and move it in the right position by changing the parameters in the parameter tab and using the slider. The last figure, what I entered before I started dimensioning, is the profile figure. I zoom in with the mouse wheel. Then I click on Add Length. You can see some red docking points. 
If the mouse pointer is near of one of these points, the point will be displayed somewhat larger and I can dock on it. For me it's fine to use the profile figure for this, because there are not so much docking points as in the tool view. And therefore it's easier to dock the dimensioning line on the right point. If I have docked both points, I click on the blue dimension line and move with using the position point to a good position. The next dimensioning I do in the same way. If this is finished, I connect the profile figure to the tool figure and then I hit the profile but keep the dimensions with the corresponding selection in the parameter window. That means I see the dimensions but not the profile if export the sketch to PDF later on. Now I add some more dimensions and modify it. As an example, I add a tolerance. After further additions, you get on the end a drawing that meets your requirements. This drawing you can export into PDF as an image, DXF or Sketcher template. If you have a tool of a similar design, it is not necessary to recreate the drawing. It is sufficient to load the previous created template. Most of the dimensions are then displayed correctly. Parameter modification of the tool geometry in Tool Studio Client result in an automatic modification of the 2D drawing and the dimensioning. If you use an actual Tool Studio version, you can also find many information of our sketcher in the Tool Studio manual. You can also find more information about our software, machines, trainings and customer care on our homepage.